Your world lights up my way and guides my steps. Lord, your love brings salvation. Your word lights up my way and guides my steps. Lord, your love brings salvation. I'm happy those who blameless life, those who work in the love of the Lord. Those who seek Him with all their heart Your world lights up my way Archdiocese of Hyderabad, Gagilapur pa- Parish This Mass is over for the Vimani TV Corpus Fund donor Chiranjeevi Bala Ashish Reddy on the occasion of his birthday for good health and good future and also blessings and good health for Yeruva Arogya Reddy Sunita, offered by family. Today's Rosary Divine Mercy Chaplet, Word of God, Holy Hour are also offered for this family and their intentions. Archdiocese of Hyderabad, Ramantapur Parish, Mass offered on the occasion of death anniversary of the Gimpodi Shaur Reddy, May his soul rest in eternal peace, offered by the Gimpodi Mary, Dr. Satvika and Delphi. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us praise the Lord for the new day. In order to celebrate this Holy Mass in a worthy manner, let us acknowledge our failures and ask God's pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my, my fault, fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, Mary our Virgin, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters to pray, pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Let us pray. O God, who found all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and love of neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Build the house that I may take pleasure in it. First reading, a reading from the prophet Haggai, chapter 1, verses from 1 to 8. In the second year of Darius the king, in the sixth month, on the first day of the month, the word of the Lord came by the hand of Haggai the prophet to Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel, governor of Judah, and Joshua, the son of Jehoshadak, the high priest. Thus says the Lord of hosts, These people say the time has not yet come to rebuild the house of the Lord. Then the word of the Lord came by the hand of Agai, the prophet, Is it a time for you yourselves to dwell in your paneled houses while this house lies in ruin? 
Now, therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, Consider your ways. You have sown much and harvested little. You eat, but you never have enough. You drink, but you never have your fill. You clothe yourselves, but no one is warm. And he who earns wages does so to put them into a bag with holes. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Consider your ways. Go up to the hills and bring wood and build a house that I may take pleasure in it and that I may be glorified, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A response real psalm, your response shall be. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion children exult in their King. The Lord takes delight in His people. Let them praise His name with dancing and make music with tremble and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people, he crowns the poor with salvation. The Lord takes delight in his people, let the faithful exult in glory and rejoice as they take their rest. Let the praise of God be in their mouths. This is an honor for all his faithful. The Lord takes delight in his people. Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 9, verses 7 to 9. At that time, Herod the Tetrarch heard about all that was happening, and he was perplexed, because it was said by some that John had been raised from the dead, by some that Eliza had appeared, and by others that one of the prophets of old had risen. Herod said, John I beheaded, but who is this about whom I hear such things? And he sought to see him. Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to your Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ.
my dear brothers and sisters jesus did several miracles like casting out demons curing the sick calming the sea and raising the dead and also he was boldly proclaiming the forgiveness and he was also telling them to forgive others and thirdly he is proclaiming the kingdom of god all these things were heard by herod so he would like to see jesus but his intention was that to see him whether this person is the same as he beheaded the john the baptist since others were claiming that it was john the baptist who came back to life despite the fact that jesus did didn't do these miracles to impress people the miracles were impressive they were so impressive that herod learned about them so he was very curious and fascinated here i would like to bring the another personality of jacobus in the coming chapters 19th chapters let us what we can see that jacobus was also eagerly waiting to see jesus because of his shorter stature he went up to the sycamore tree and he was waiting to see jesus when jesus was passing that way jesus looked up and called jacobus come down i would like to come to your house today he was so much taken up by the words full of joy approached jesus and took him to his house after while he was giving dinner for jesus he said the words very clearly lord if i have done anything i would uh, repent i would uh, pay back all the things what i have defrauded if i have done anything i can pay four times also by the words jesus was very happy and he said today the salvation has come to this house and he continues to say the son of man has come to seek and to save the last this was the assurance given to the jacobus who with repentance utter the words so let us compare the herod and jacobus both wanted to see jesus but there is a difference between them the repented heart will gain salvation so here jesus is so compassionate and his words are very liberating and redemptive thus we understand the jacobus was given abundance of graces so at this juncture we understand that this incident can be said in one word that god's salvific touch to the broken world let us reflect little more and have a graceful day amen
ashes Lord then together in your kingdom all the people should tell the universe ashes Lord then together in your kingdom all the people should tell the universe oh God of love shed your light over all the earth Give us the strength to spread Fraternal love and seal To kindle all humanity With the mighty flame of charity Push us Lord then together in your kingdom All the people so fill the Pray, my dear brethren, that my sacrifice at yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. In the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving you thanks. He broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mm. 
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Cardinal Paul Anthony, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her husband, blessed Saint Joseph, and the, all the apostles, and the, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced unto eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. How mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. How mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Jesus Christ, not bring me judgment, condemnation, but to your loving memory and for the mere protection of your mind and body and your healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under my roof. roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Oh 
flesh will attain the heavenly goal. I receive the living bread, and my heart is filled with joy. I receive the living bread, and my heart is filled with joy. I'm the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those who renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mass is ended. Let us go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Of Jesus Christ and Mother of humankind, you're the glory of a race. You every morning give your love. Virgin most blessed, you're the song in our hearts, and we will praise you to all eternity. You're the glory of a race New every morning is your love Virgin most blessed You're the song in our hearts And we will praise you through